this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a very simple design, something that anyone out there can do. That's the whole point of my channel. I'm using a number 14, a magic filbert brush, and a number 16 flat brush, a magic paintbrush, fun liner by Westonia, clay ball maker which I'm using as a dotting stylus and a dauber this is a Martha Stewart but I put a link down below in my videos for the tools that I use in my videos and I give you a different brand and that uh, underneath there as I couldn't find the Martha Stewart some of these products that I have I've had for a long time and um, you know so some of them are no longer available, some of them are ones that I just found and decided to use and after having them for years, so I apologize for that. All the paint I'm using are folk art paints using School Bus Yellow, or yeah, School Bus Yellow, because I'll say I have a moon yellow too, Wicker White, I think all today I'm using all enamels, Fresh Foliage, Tea Berry, and thicket. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin by using my dauber. I'm just going to put it down into the paint, get it covered nice. Now you can pounce it off if you want just to make sure you don't have too much paint on it. I'm going to go ahead and use the full amount because I just want to make sure I get good coverage since I'm painting on the glass. And I'm just staggering these. I'm going to do three because I like my my odd numbers. I'm going to put that aside for now. Then I'm going to come through with my this is my filbert brush. I'm going to put it into my tea berry. Now I can go ahead and dap it into the, the wicket too, wicker white too, but I'm not going to. I'm going to just come around. I'm going to use it on this side instead of this way. I'm going to use it this way and push down and pull towards the center. Now I like to use the brushes and try to use them in different ways so that you can see how you can use them. You know, A lot of times we just use a brush one way and that's it. But if you play around with them a little bit you can figure out other ways to make designs, neat designs instead of just using them one one specific way. You know, and sometimes, like with the flat brush, I used to use it all the time specifically because I found I could do most of the designs I wanted to with the one brush. But then I started with these videos, started to play around with them different ways, and now I find that there's, you know, there's an advantage to using them and how easy some of them are to create designs with that I didn't really realize until I started playing with them. And I am intentionally leaving a space in between. You can overlap a little bit if you need to. And I'm spacing these out, but I'm also making the petals different lengths. And you can actually make them different widths just by the pressure or lack of pressure that you're putting on the bristles as you create. All right, so then I'm going to go back over this. I'm going to go ahead and stick it into the white. Just put a little bit of white on the tip. And I'm just going to quickly go over these as much as I can with each loading of the brush. meaning that I'm not loading the brush, I should say, after each swipe of the brush. I'm just doing it periodically. And keep in mind too, when you do this, when you add the white over it, it actually gives it a thicker coat, which will give more durability to your design, as opposed to just leaving it with a thin coat.
If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell prior to leaving. I would appreciate that. Have any questions or comments, please place those down below the video. Now, once you do this, if you want, you can pick up more of the tea berry and kind of just come back in. This one I would probably try to smooth out down a little bit because it's pretty high as far as the accumulation of paint. Because you don't want it to bubble when you put it into the oven. And you just pick a few, kind of go through them a little bit. And then just... You, know, you don't even have to do that part if you don't want to. If you like it just the way it was before you did it, that's fine. Perfectly fine. Alright, next thing you're going to do is come in here with the flat brush. Dip it into your fresh foliage, the thicket. Do some blending strokes. And again, I am not a big blender. Some people will blend for quite some time. I just get my brush loaded and go. Proper way though is to blend it to where you have three quarters of the bristles full of paint. Again, I'm not not adhering to that. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this brush is do it on the side just like I did with the filbert and pull towards the flower. Do it again, and yes, you're gonna pull in some of that color that you just painted. As I'm going over it and I'm just doing two two petals for each uh, each leaf that I'm painting if you don't like the fact that it's pulling in that other color then give it some dry time hit it with a heat gun hair dryer anything that you might have on hand give it maybe an hour's dry time and go back over it that's up to you but these are when I say sometimes you can do designs that are like separate separate flowers this is not going to have a stem to attach to it's just maybe more like a pattern design in a sense kind of like I made in my last video but this is floral related instead of just designs And pull it over there, and I yes, I did pull in some of the color. I can go back over it if I want. I just like to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Make it easy for you all to paint, be successful, and you're good to go. So if you want, you know, to sit back and take a look at it and see, well, where do I need to touch up? You know, you can do that. Then I'm going to take my little fine liner, go into these colors. I'm going to even hit tip into the white if I want, tip into the greens. And I'm just going to come through and add my little stems to the leaves. And, you know, if you want to leave this part out, you feel free to do so. In this instance, I do want to add these. Give them a little bit more color. I'm just doing them very lightly, as you can see. Some are even a little hard to see. So we have that. Then I want to, I'm going to have to add a little bit more paint to my palette because I'm going to go back over my centers. Don't always have to do this, but I like to come back in just to clean it up a little bit because, you know, you, you might on occasion like this, you know, hit the centers with the painting. So if you do this, it actually gives it another coat course and I'm just lightly tapping it and if you come out out of the circle that's fine they don't have to be perfect 
If any of you follow me, you know I'm not a perfect painter. And you can even add other colors if you want. Next I'm going to do, take my clay ball maker. I'm going to do the, the smaller of the sides. And I'm just going to come through here. Now again, on something like this, you're going to have some of the underneath color because I just painted it. If I was concerned about that, I would give it some dry time and that would avoid the two colors mixing and would give you a nicer, a nicer dot. But I'm just showing you how to do this is my main concern with these, with this bottle that I'm painting on. This is one that I paint on and wash off. Yeah, I'm not sure what direction I'm going this year. So I haven't really been painting on bottles. Probably should have painted more, but I have them. I just... Finding some other interests. Okay. All right, and you can put them closer together if you want, or you know, put more layers of dots. But I'm not going to. Just keep it simple and quick. All right, there you have it. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. Prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks again for stopping by, and until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.